Hello, 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 my beautiful Aryan people. I'm so glad you decided to be here. My name is Jessica, also known as Just the Empress. So thank you. And if you like what I do here, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I would love for you to be a part of this family. And I'm recording this. Um, it's March the 24th today, is I think. Yeah. So I just want to say happy birthday to my Aryan people. It's a new, um, this is your season. So it's officially hip start. And I just, yeah, happy, happy birthday. And as I meditated on you guys' this energy, on top of that, it is a new moon in area. So use that good energy to manifest good things in your life, to give you that push and that start. If something that you wanted to do, here is the energy, the passion, and the fire. The new moon coming up on April the 2nd is also in you guys' favor because it's a, moon, a new moon in Aries. Like, come on. All right, so I'll dive right in. I did do a little meditating, and um, when I meditate, I'm an intuitive reader, so I just basically got that there is some Aryans out there that do want to, like, embrace something new, you know, uh, a new project, like a new, um, like I say, you know, you may be independent, but you may want to get into, a, like, a leadership role. You want to kind of get from behind the scenes. And maybe get to the forefront. Or even if that's just leveling up, you know. I may, you know, be here now. Or I may live in an apartment. But now, I think I want to move into a house. Like, so that's just kind of that energy, too, for you Aryan people. Also, this is a time for, um, just hidden talents. Yeah. Y'all Aries are good at everything. But I think in this new current energy on top of the new 2022 year, Everybody of uh, the collective, all of the things that are hidden are coming to the surface. So some of you Aryan hitting the hidden talents are coming out. And I think you are embracing that. So we'll dive right on into our um, tarot. So again, if you like, please subscribe and be a part of the family. And I will dive right in. Yes, yes. Thank you, spirits, guys, and ancestors, for being here with us. All right. All right, and there's your jumper. Yes. Ace of a pinnacle. Yes, okay. So, if again, some of you, um, back to the new, um, are just are creating, um, uh, wanting something new. I'm finding out things about myself that I didn't even know. I'm birthing new ideas. I'm, um, creating new projects at work. I'm opening the door for other people to, to, you know, be comfortable or be um, flexible. Like, so yeah, this is Ace of Pinnacle. A pinnacle, something that is going to be tangible. Sometimes, most times, actually, money. Pinnacles represent coins, change. Pinnacles also just can be a representation of something that is solid. Something that once you set this down, once you plant this seed firmly in the ground, it is going to grow and be something. No one can take away. So, good job, Aries. Already, that's a good start in a reading. So, Ace of Pentacles. Let's just see where we're going. And we will do a past, or a recent past, we'll say. A present, and we will do, um, this is the recent past. We're going to do a present, future, and this is going to be the outcome. Okay? And we will clarify if needed as we go on so again there's some areas here with a new beginning a new fresh start or a new direction even even if it's not walking away from a situation possibly maybe but some of you just want to like level up evaluate you know um just how can i do this different how can i vibe this way some of you this is spirituality too this is kind of going deeper and more in who am I in my inner, my internal self? Like finding that out. So we'll go right in and see where we are. Three of Cups. This is in your recent past energy. Yes. First off, Three of Cups is definitely. I'm gonna go I always go. I'm gonna go spiritual right off. Yes. I always say this card is kind of considered like the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. This is someone who is on a spiritual path, a spiritual journey that is connected, that is knowing where they're going. They um, are uh, intuitive. They, you know, they they move off of the discernment, off of the third eye energy. But 
tangibly. This is also someone in the real world having connections, having support, having love. This could be two sisters, a mom, and two daughters, or, you know, in, you know, not just gender. This could definitely be three males, but just three people, energies, connections that are here to embrace and bring about a better you, a new you. So by this Ace of Pentacles being here, this is to me your energy and what you're bringing about. This is the support that follows. And this is in the recent past. So for some of you Aries, this is something that you're already going through. This is something that you're already into. This is not the beginning of a baby, you know, or beginning of a um idea, I say. <laughs> All right, good job, Aries. Way to go already. I love the energy here. It's really light. Oh, my favorite girl in the day, Queen of Pentacles. Yes, this is in your present energy. Some of you Aries been leveling up. Some of y'all been doing the work. And I mean, last month, last year, last two years. Some of you guys have been really working on yourself inside and out. Finances and spirituality. And this is God telling you, guess what, boo? You a Queen of Pentacles now. With all that hard work, all that, you know, sorting out, taking some of it out. You wanting a new leveling up life you want more independence you 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 know realize some hitting hidden truths about yourself they were positive even and you're walking in that this is also the very again very 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 resourceful queen this is the queen that will never do with have with have not have because she's resourceful she's always thinking ahead she's um connected you know she's gonna go out there and get it but god is also gonna give it to her and she may not always be a millionaire, but maybe. <laughs> but this is the queen who's never broke. She says the, this is the queen who has um, food in the pantry, money in the bank. Also, you know, I'm not, she's not trying to, you know, be, um, you know, flashy and show offy. This girl know where her stuff came from, so there's no need for that comes from the Holy Spirit. And this is an Aries walking in that. Ooh, I love y'all Aries. Yes. Good, good, good energy right here. Good energy. I promise you that. So good Aries. That's your current energy. A queen of pentacles. Also, I just have to point out these pentacles here. Some of you guys got some money making thing you're doing right now. Even if it's just your current job. You're the queen of pentacles there. Like, they know it. You bring everything. <laughs> you're like the savior of the day. They know that. They know without you, they may fall apart. <laughs> they know that it's your job. So, yeah. And this could be family. This could be connections. But this is good, good energy already. And I think this is totally you, Aries. So, let's go with woo, the, the future. Come on, baby. The chariot. Dang, this is a great... Some of you guys getting ready to take off into something beautiful. And I'm also getting this down low. Some of you asked a question. Some of you been asking spirit a question. And I don't know exactly what it is, but the answer is yes. Should I do this, God? Should I go here, God? Should I sign my name on this line, God? Should I give this people, these people my idea, God? The answer is yes. <laughs> the chariot. He's coming with fast, energetic messages that's going to save the day. That's going to be something to solidify. Something that seals the deal. Now, also for some of you areas, there's a lot of pinnacles here. This could just be flat out. Some of y'all finna get a new car. <laughs> some of y'all finna get a nice new car. So, that's good. Come give me a ride. <laughs> All right, good, Aries. I love this reading. It's so light and fun. Yes. And the outcome. Page of Pentacles. Oh, my God. Can I, can, can I come uh, live with one of y'all, Aries? I'm just playing. But, yes, this is beautiful. There's some Aries here that is lining their corns up, lining their life up, and it is all in God's favor. So, kudos to you. Page of Pentacles. This is not only... You are already been... Gifted with an ace in the beginning. This is the beginning of this. 
this is a page. So to me, at the end, this is the outcome card. Baby, this is not, this is the beginning. And this is the end, which is the beginning card. But this idea here is going to multiply forever and ever and ever. <laughs> like however you, however long, you know, you want that Aries. But the message here is this. That idea is going to bring you good fortune. That idea is also going to build upon itself because it's going to create room for new ideas. Maybe even opportunities for your children. Again, thinking about the future leveling up, whether that's just getting promoted at your job, stepping out on your own, because that's this card too. Some of you might want to start that business. You might want to start it's some fresh new idea you may have even. But it's good. It's good. So I think some of you are already in this, though. I think that's why it's so much here. I think it's just spirit is just letting me know, like, even me as a reader. This is uh, Aries who is birth, getting, get, getting an idea, preparing it. She has the support. She has the resources. If she has the yes, let's go. And Spirit is just saying, continue it. Because this is just the beginning. That's the message here. This is just the beginning. And I do feel, I have to say, some of my Aries, they're not quite there. So this is Spirit letting you know whenever you decide to do that. It's beautiful. Come on, y'all. Y'all ran by Mars. No need to sit on yourself, okay? You got all of the energy you need right there. Plant that seedling so you can grow that to this beautiful mandala. So it can get bigger and bigger and create so much wealth and just success for you and your family. Yeah. Any other news again? You guys are already talking about that. Embracing new directions and change. So I will clarify with the writer. Wait, I don't want to talk too long on this read. But mm, we don't even need much clarity. But I'm just going to ask, you know, just for some advice of the outcome. Clarity on page of pinnacle. Ooh. Okay. Yes. All right. The two of cups. Two beautiful things coming together to create something new. Okay. But right behind it now, don't get discouraged. This is the five of pentacles. This doesn't always mean I'm going to lose everything. But what this is to is a reminder. Do not find yourself helping others or people that you know are not, you know, in the in a vibrating energy to even give give back. The takers I think spirit is aligning you and leveling you up to know the difference. And again, I'm an intuitive reader. For some right now, I definitely feel this is a relationship. The relationship is holding you back from walking into true or what God truly wants you to be. Okay, so that's just for some of us. I'm I, I don't I'm not doing a love reading, so I I, re, I received that and I'm gonna give that to you guys. But uh, yeah, back to just the tangible and what's presented here, what's being birthed, this new direction. Yes, this is just a reminder that these two things are coming together to create something. Two business partner, two groups, two. Whatever it is, an idea from your head onto paper, those two things are going to happen and it's going to create fruition. But remember, Five of Pentacles is a reminder to, first of all, don't spend too much money. You know, don't find yourself just trying to do everything so big to where you just, I'm going to buy this and I'm going to make sure it's a sign that light up and then I'm going to get, um, I'm going to make sure everybody going to have a three day own parking lot and nope, 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 too much. Yes, five of pentacles come as just in the morning. Make sure your pentacles are lined up. <laughs> Even if you have enough, but we don't want to ever, you know, just be wasteful in what spirit has connected us to, okay? 
So that's all this is. This reading is still very light and vibrant. But for some of my areas, this is kind of, again, the Lord of Confusion. The Lord of, uh, what they call this card, um, just, um, like I said, money frustration. But because I read intuitively, just following this reading and following these cards. Don't find yourself here. And back to the love part. Don't let nobody bring you down. If you, For instance, if you're in a love connection and your partner is not vibing with you, and I mean even a marriage, they're going to hold you back. You're not going to be able to walk in this. So make sure you're not in that. That's a clear message from someone. All right? All right, Aries. This is good. This is good. And I'm going to uh, just clarify with the um, African goddesses. I'm not going to talk long this reading. But, I, um, yeah, the African gods come give us power. A little energy. We need to hear from our ancestors at times. And um, we need to get power back. So we're going to take... Who is she? Aizan. And she is miracles. Yes. So pretty. Yes, and they come with affirmations and declarations. So we will see what Ivan brings. Okay. All right. Priestess Ayizan is a wise Haitian queen of the market, riches, and sacred initiations. Respect her as highly as a highly vibrating spirit of the first priestess. Hmm, it's considered the first priestess. You are a magnet for miracles. You are a miracle, Aries. What if you truly allowed yourself to believe it? All things are possible. Dare to dream bigger. You claim you want miracles, but you take an I'll believe it when I see it approach. What if you see it after you believe it? Hmm. Believe you desire to be, do, have, the world you want for yourself believes it. You can be your true self. Do what awakens your soul and have your desires. This is life's miracle. Hmm. The energy. If you haven't witnessed your miracle yet, ask it and allow it in. Goddess declaration or an affirmation. My life is full of miracles. Again, my life is full of miracles. And that's beautiful, Aries. So again, my sweet Aries, thank y'all for coming to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Sending you lots of love and light your way. Till next time, bye-bye.